And we're back. Let's go into the mother's heart. I did take a quick break. Actually, it was a long break. Uh, looked at the inventory. Kind of checked out uh, what the items were. What I can you sell. Will back, outcast. Or bleed. Your choice. Make way! Make way! Braves, stand aside. She is welcome here. Mother's heart is open to you, child. That's right. Come. Suck it, guards. I assure you, most Nora aren't so rude as those idiots. You're Tirsa? <laughs> Who else would I be? Come on now. I've been waiting for this day a long time. You have? Oh, yes. But for the moment, I must leave you. I have other outsiders to keep safe tonight. You what? Envoys from another tribe, the Karja. Come to observe the proving, and oh, how the Nora hate the Karja. Karja? But that's my problem. We will talk later. In the meantime, enjoy the festival. Oh, down the path to the right, you'll find an old friend who can't wait to see you. But I don't know anyone here. <laughs> Try telling him that. We will talk later. May the goddess protect. What is going on? Right? What indeed? Let's check it out. Yeah, let's get our drink on. Let's get crunk. I do this every year. Okay. Uh, I want to see something new. Okay, so there are other redheaded people. So I can't be outcast because of that. Just making sure. Uh, let me check. Map. Don't know what that is. Great. Hey, Lloyd. It's you, isn't it? Oh, uh, yeah. Over here. It is Aloy, isn't it? I'm remembering your name correctly? Are you the old friend Tirsa told me about? I don't know you. I see you don't recognize me. Well, it was a long time ago. Teb is my name. You were half my size when you saved me from a herd of machines. I remember. You tried to thank me. I never forgot that day. All these years, I hoped to see you again, if you came to run in the Proving. As you can see, I didn't turn out to be much of a hunter. I served the tribe as a stitcher instead. A maker of garments and armor. In preparation for this day, I've made an outfit for you. Cool. I hope you like it. What's it going to cost? Cost? <laughs> Nothing. Consider it the thanks I tried to give years ago. Long overdue. Bunch of cool stuff. Plus parts. Sure, equip it. No change, right? Let's see, this is resistance to effects. Uh, this makes me harder to see. Okay, cool. Cool. This is more armor. Damage resistance. Okay, and then it goes up in scale from there. Cool. There. Seems to fit you perfectly. Thank you, Teb. I've never had anything like this before. <laughs> well, it's yours. I think you'll Easy find now. it affords more protection than what you were wearing. Every outfit offers some advantage. It's always a trade-off. Anyway, I shouldn't keep you any longer. Head for the Matriarch's Lodge if you want to find Tirsa. You'll know it when you see it. A large wooden building with an angry mob waiting outside. Tirsa said something about 
Envoys from another tribe? Yes, that's what the mob's angry about. Karja visiting our sacred land for the first time in years. I'd expect to see some tomatoes fly, maybe rocks. Hopefully not spears. In any case, be ready to duck. Neat. Where's the button to tip? Throw money at him. Well, in this case, it'd be metal shards. to serve them, to make them a new world, better than the one all mother provided. Then the pocket clips. World of metal. They told the faithless they would do all the work for them, feed them, shelter them, give them a life of ease, of plenty. And so, the faithless left with the machines. Only the true children, the mothers and fathers of the Nora, stayed with all mother at first the machines did as they had promised they built cities great and terrible monuments to their sins but they would not serve the faithless for long a king rose up among the machines a machine more powerful than any other the metal devil and then the faithless served him served the machines that was not enough for the metal devil he wanted all to serve him and tried to tempt the true children away from all mother they would not go they gathered on the mountainside to cling to her and prayed more devoted than ever the metal devil raged louder than thunder in his fury he came to confront all mother intending to kill her she struck him down forever as you know for his lifeless body is hmm. out there still frozen in shame and defeat is that what the big metal the thing is in the sky were driven mad by the death of their king and their minds became as wild as beasts the faithless abandoned their cities forced to wander the world without the care of the machines only we remain the true children of all mother we built all this with the hands that she gave us. Machines are to be hunted. Metal to be used for scrap, for craft. But never to be adored. And we stay true to her laws, resolute in our prayers, don't we? For the dangers are never over. Still the faithless envy our sacred land and covet it. And year upon year, the machine's anger grows Searching for little Nora boys and girls who have not quite gained. <laughs> what? Is that a machine among us now? No, no. These old eyes. Interesting. Mistaken. Right? Boss, boss, boss. What about Vala? Listen carefully She's now. Blood but of a you'll have to tell this when I'm gone. In the beginning, 
All life came from all people. Aloy, over here. Karst? What are you doing here? Cool. Careful. Pretend like we've never met. I wasn't supposed to trade with outcasts in the wilds, remember? How could I forget? And how generous of you to talk to me now. Don't be like that. You know I'll be rooting for you in the proving tomorrow. Can't wait to see the looks in some of these faces when you win. And if you need any last minute supplies, uh, I'm your man. Yeah. All right, let's Let me do this. Sell some of the junk I got. Clean up my inventory a little bit. Uh, do you have anything? Okay. Oh, forgot to get this last time. All right, let me sell you these. Stuff I can craft with. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do do. Cool. Until next time. Next time, you'll be a brave. In a moment, we shall bless the proving. But first, we have guests to welcome. For two years, we have been at peace with Akarja. It is time to restore our bonds of trade with Meridian. These envoys come to us under a banner of peace. Peace. It's peace. <clears throat> An annunciation of gratitude written Killers by and the slavers. hand of yeah. Sun King yeah. of Killers and slavers! Hey, hey, Luminance hold your fruit, North. Oh. Nora Faithful, hold your fruit. Now I'm Azarek. Tomatoes hurt. Tarja, so I'll put it just straight. The 13th Sun King was a murderous bum. Oh, he was. He was a tyrant and a monster. He raided my tribe for blood sacrifice, just like yours. My own sister was taken. I hated the Karja. But the 13th King is dead. Two years now. Who killed it? The 14th. Yeah. Not because he, he lusted for power, but because someone had to put an end to his father's atrocities. Yeah. Yeah. The message that this poor priest means to read is an apology. Straight from the lips of the 14th king. Don't know that guy's voice? So please. Sounds familiar. Can't you lend him your ears? Yeah, thank you. <clears throat> An enunciation of gratitude written by the hand of Sun King Avad. Fourteenth luminance of the radiant mm, What is this? Someone else with one of these thingies? No, I won't let the Karja Faithless stop me from enjoying the festival. What harm can they do now? He's wearing a furnace. Just like As mine. Yep. You have nurtured, take their places among your brave. You're the only other person I've ever seen wearing a focus. Where did you get yours? What? A Nora? Wearing one of these? That's impossible. Your tribe fears the old places, forbids them. Who says I'm like other Nora? Why, well, yeah. I guess you're not. Maybe you've gone delving in the ruins of the metal world. What's wrong? Apologies. Uh, malfunction. Oh, Lynn? You making friends with locals, are we? I'll... I'll come back. Wait. No. Uh, we'll talk later. Have to go. Yeah. Well, one of those. I, well, I guess he's more hungover than I thought. <laughs> the glitches. Hey. You got the same trinket that Olin has on his head. Since when did those become fashionable? His name is Olin? Who is he? And where did he get one of these? Ah, he's just a... Hold up. 
grounds or with friends in high places. Now he spends half his time digging for artifacts, the other half drinking or dicing. As for the trinket, well, I guess he dug it up somewhere. Just a weird old jewel he sticks on his face. I mean, no offense, it looks great on you. I've never seen armor like yours before. You've never seen Vanguard steel? Well, let me introduce you. Ring locked, impact protected, sturdy enough to choke a sawtooth. It has to be. The Vanguard of the Sun King's best. Life takers and machine breakers to a one. We might even give the Nora war maid like you more trouble than she can handle. War maid? <laughs> With all that metal to slow you down? I doubt it. Yeah, hard to say. From where I'm standing, looks like a pretty even match. What else do you know about Olin? Is he really that interesting? I'm starting to get jealous. Well, he scours the wilds for ruins, digs up stuff, and sells it to nobles. When he's not scrounging, he's scouting. Exactly the skills you want the man guiding your expedition to have. I've known him for a few years. He's a loyal companion, cares for his family, holds his drink well enough. I like him, but besides that, not much to tell. I should make my way to the Blessing. Yeah. Look, maybe I shouldn't say this, but... It's obvious that you don't belong in this backwater. I mean, you're smart. You're obviously capable, and... Well, I mean, look at you. Uh, what are you talking about? You know what. <laughs> All right, if you ever visit Meridian, look me up. I'll show you around, make introductions. It'll be a whole new life, if you want it. I'll even introduce you to my sister. She's got more connections than I do. I thought you said she was captured and killed by the last Sun King. Ha! Captured, yes. Killed, no. It takes more than a few cards to finish Ursa. She got away. Now she's captain of the entire Vanguard. That's quite a story. Maybe I'll tell it to you sometime over a drink. Anyway, I have to go to that blessing thing, too, so, uh, see you around, maybe? I won't let the charge of faith stop me from enjoying it. Uh, I had to adjust my sound levels a little bit. I hope this is okay. A little bit closer to the microphone, but it should be, should be alright. I might need further adjustment, sounds like. Alright, I'll try this for now, see how it works. Let's see, I need... How much longer do I have on this? There. Uh, let's see, 20... So like... Yeah. I'll start the blessing when all aspirants are in place. I guess that's me. Aloy, take your place right there. The prayer lantern is yours. I made it for you. Ha, blasphemy, sisters. Aspirants. Before each of you sits a prayer lantern crafted by your mother. In her honor, light its flame. She hadn't abandoned me at birth. All oh, mother, hear our prayer. What is the child but a mother's hope that takes flight? A glowing flame that climbs the air, set free to the wind, sailing the sky till it fades and falls. So from one to another passes the chain of love. There's Olin. I have some questions for him. Everyone knows Q 
after school. Hello, Owen. You know my name. Ah, guess Aaron told you. Why did you act so strange when we spoke earlier? Must be this festival. I'm really not one for crowds. Maybe I should just turn in. Stop dodging my questions. All right, cool your fire. I got nothing to hide. I've never seen anyone else with a focus. <clears throat> Where exactly did you find it? In a ruin, north of the claim. That's our name for the Asaram homeland. Up there, the metal seams run deep. Steel giants half buried in loose soil. Forgotten caves that the old ones bored into mountain rock. Your eyes just lit up. I found my focus in a cave just like you're describing. A ruin of the old ones. If you've delved yourself, you know as much as I do. <clears throat> Go to those places for answers. Not me. What are you doing here, Olin? Why come to Noraland? Aaron needed a scout for his expedition, and a second for his drinking. That's all. <laughs> Someone to stop the Sun Priest getting lost. When all this is over, I'm back to delving ruins, rummaging for scrap, scrounging up trinkets to sell. So you're an explorer? Just another outlander, girl. A man's gotta make his shards. I just make mine in service to the king's court. That's all. When we spoke earlier, you winced, then looked like you were in pain, or frightened. Did your focus show you something? It didn't show me anything. I told you. It malfunctioned. Happens all the time. Mine's never malfunctioned, and I've had it since I was a child. So yours is in better shape, then? I'm sure the land here is full of relics. Seeing how you Nora are too scared to delve the ruins. Because they think ruins are cursed. But I never said I think that. If the North acknowledges a curse, I'm inclined to agree. I don't understand. We have this device in common, but you can't wait to stop talking to me. <sighs> I already have all the friends I need, girl. I don't need to bother. I'm used to being shunned by the tribe. I thought you'd be different. It's nothing personal. It really isn't. You should... Try to enjoy yourself tonight. Big day tomorrow. Always best to make every day count. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Okay. I can't wait to go exploring more, like, uh... Old ruins and stuff. Then I think that'd be the thing I probably enjoy the most about this game. Although I I, I do like learning more about their the native peoples, like uh, like their backstories, like how they each got started, like different factions. That's interesting to me as well. Find your bed, outcast, and dream of winning the proving. That's the closest you're gonna get. Oh, this is the bed house? With you standing guard? I figured it was the latrine. You're, you're very present here. <laughs> Go, girl. Well, well. Look who's come in from the wild. The motherless outcast. <laughs> I see you've still got a scar from where that rock I threw hit you. Now that's a cherished memory. You can be a real lard sometimes, boss. Cut it out. We saw you talking with the outsiders. Couldn't convince them to take you either, huh? Aw, oh, you even try to dress like a real Nora. Not that it fools anyone. So this is how it's gonna be with you, is it? This is how it's gonna be with everyone, outcast. You belong in the wilds, not Mother's heart. 
and you definitely don't belong in the proving. Mm. You can sense it. You already know you're gonna lose. <laughs> I've trained all my life for the proving. I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of anything. Really? Confidence is quiet. You're not. You know, I often think of the day I gave you that scar. It's a cherished memory. You already said that. Yeah. The look on your face when I knocked that stone out of your hand was pretty entertaining. But I suppose you leave that part of the story out when you tell it, don't you? I branded you that day to mark your shame. All you did that day was make me stronger. Just wait. I'll show you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, right. This is boring. Time for boss to get some sleep. You'll be the one surprised tomorrow, outcast. Not me. Oh, are you gonna shut your mouth? Because that would be a surprise. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. We'll talk to some other peoples. Nice job handling Bost. That should keep him quiet. Till morning, anyway. I don't believe we've met. I'm Aloy. Oh, I know who you are. The competition. The others, they'll finish the proving. Most of them. But win it? That's down to Bost, you, or me. Vala. Nice to meet you, Vala. You're right. I am going to win tomorrow. Never celebrate a victory before it's earned, girl. My mother taught me that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna get some sleep. I plan to be well rested when I run you into the ground tomorrow. <laughs> Your bunk's right there when you want it. Okay. Thanks. Cool, meeting some peoples. So? Your first day in Mother's heart. What do you think? You've never slept in a Nora Lodge before. Not very private. Mm. Comforts and distractions. That's what I think. Not all comforts are bad. Comforts or weakness. You sound just like my mother. You can always go back to living in the wilds if you have to. In the meantime, get some rest. <gasps> Quest completed. Give me skill points. Yourselves. What will it take to get you out of here? Looks, Looks like, like a grazer. grazer. What am I supposed to be doing? Oh, surviving? No. Ooh. Coming back for more. No, I didn't. Oops. 
Suck it, machine. Come on. Yeah. Stop moving. My trophy. My trophy. I've got a ton of trophies over here. How many times I gotta loot? Oh. <laughs> Your trophy is shattered, Outcast. Looks like you'll need another. Oh. I wish I would have known what I was doing. Oh gosh, there's not gonna be any left. Oops. I come back. And again. Okay. Yeah. Sister, come on. I've got to catch up. Oh hell, really? I've got to catch up. I need to heal too. Oh, it must be scripted that everyone else gets ahead of you. Has to be. I mean, I, I, I would have performed poorly anyway, but. Dead last, girl. Might as well walk from here. Boss Thanks for the confidence. Bala, but you'll be made a brave so long as you finish. Oh, now. That's an old trail. Two died on it last year. It's falling apart. Better dead last than dead altogether. Let me pause real quick. That's enough for one episode. Uh, appreciate you guys. Appreciate you guys watching. Uh, thank you for that. Uh, yeah, tune in to the next episode. Find out what happens next. You guys take it easy. Peace.